One area that's often neglected or overlooked entirely when creating a proposal is a strong cause concept. That means a great opportunity and a reason to give. I'm going to share with you the three essentials that make up a strong cause concept. Stay tuned. Just two years ago, I was forwarded an inquiry from an individual who wanted to know a little more about our organization and what we did on college campuses. After setting up an appointment, I discovered that this individual had two granddaughters headed to college that fall and wanted to direct them to an organization that had a strong ministry on college campuses in the West. After hearing about our mission and vision and what we were doing specifically on campuses and particularly the colleges his granddaughters were attending, he let me know that he had a foundation and would be interested in helping to add some seed money to their efforts. He was willing to give $5,000 to each campus. As you can imagine, I was very excited, first, that he liked what we were doing, but second, that he was willing to give such a substantial gift. I did everything within my power to keep him informed of the activities that went on that year, how his money was used, and the outcomes that occurred as a result of his gift. At least one of his granddaughters got actively involved in our organization, and I was able to send him a picture of her participating in an event with other students. This May, he reached out to me to say he was ready to give again this year and actually wanted to increase the amount given to those two schools and add funds to three other campuses in his state. It was exciting for him to not only embrace our efforts, but actively want to help see our movements furthered beyond the schools that his granddaughters attended. This was a great reminder of just how important it was to provide a compelling vision and cause concept to a donor or a partner. In 2018, the United States Postal Service released finding that the average household receives 454 pieces of mail per year. In 2021, 70.22 million pieces were attributed to direct mail and sent to individuals in the U.S., and that mail alone doesn't even account for phone or potential appeals to people personally. That's a lot of people vying for the attention of your audience. You need to do all you can to set yourself apart from every other nonprofit. There are three essentials that make for a successful cause concept and ultimately an appeal. Element number one, unique selling point. Look for those elements of your project or program that makes them unique or sets them apart. Countless donors or partners want to give to something unique or different, especially entrepreneurs or business people. Although many donors or partners give to organizations and programs that excite them, and of course, tend to give to organizations that have similar mission statements, they like to invest a significant portion of their time and money in the projects and programs that ha are having the greatest impact. Now that comes down to either return on investment, that's most lives changed for the most money, or those efforts that are groundbreaking or unique. Donors or partners are drawn to new, innovative, or different ways to do things. For decades, organizations digging wells in impoverished, underdeveloped countries was a game changer and very attractive to donors. Organizations whose mission was to provide clean water through digging wells stood out above the crowd, but digging wells was costly. More recently, innovative strategies to bring low-cost, low-maintenance water filters have changed the landscape. Small villages may still have contaminated water, but a filter can be used to clean 95% or more of contaminants out of the water, making for an easy and efficient way to provide clean water to those in need. That innovative technique has attracted the attention and garnered the gifts of current and potential donors. I've said before, Colgate doesn't want to compete with Crest. Crest is the leading toothpaste and has been for decades. 
But for Colgate to stay in the game, it needs to find what makes it different from Crest. More whiteners, more brighteners. You need to find that one thing that makes your program or project unique or sets it apart from everyone else and market or sell that attribute. That one thing might not be big or prominent, but it does exist and you need to find it. A different way of doing things from most, if not all, of the organizations like yours. Understanding the true meaning of someone's words is important, but not just the words themselves. The context, the content, and perhaps reading between the lines. It's essential that we as nonprofit leaders learn to listen for the true message being conveyed. Element number two, highlighting the advantages. It's very important to point out, either in written form or verbally, the advantages of giving to your organization. That can be like the return on investment that was mentioned earlier. If you have found an efficient or effective way to help more people for less money, definitely market that and sell that to investors and donors or partners. But it's important to list for the donors the advantages of investing time, talent, and treasure in your organization and the particular project or program needing funding. Our organization works with students and faculty, both high school and college, and we have a website that was unique when it started, but there are other websites that have overtaken it when it comes to cutting edge methods. However, the return on investment is still extremely impressive and gives it and us a distinct advantage over websites of other similar organizations. First, the site is available in 13 languages, allowing us to be available throughout the world. The average cost of people coming to the site is less than three cents. This is an evangelistic site, so the cost per person who makes a decision to have a relationship with Christ is two dollars. On a high month, the site reached over 5 million people and saw 94,369 people make professions of faith in Jesus that month. The current average is 3,145 new followers of Jesus each day. Those are great statistics and gives us an advantage over similar organizations spending considerably more money to accomplish the same things. You need to find and market those elements that give you an advantage in accomplishing your mission. Element number three, identifying the benefits. Lastly, it's important to feature or highlight the benefits of giving to your organization. If done properly, your organization should already be striking a chord with donors. I've mentioned countless times that we need to find out what problem makes our donors and partners weep and pound the table and find a solution to that problem or issue. But where it's rather easy to do that on a face-to-face -face or phone appointment with others, especially major donors, it's more difficult to do that with direct mail and email marketing. That's why the benefits of outcomes of giving to the organization must be emphasized and with the largest audience possible. Just like an investor purchases stock in a company to get a return on investment, a donor or partner gives to see a specific outcome. Some nonprofits use books, hats, mugs, or other gifts as benefits for giving, especially at a certain dollar level. I'm not a big fan of those kinds of motivators. Don't get me wrong, giving someone something they value for their gift is not bad in and of itself, but I believe more people are motivated by a successful outcome. And that's typically lives being changed in some way. It's important to rise above the noise and capture the attention and more importantly, the heart of the donor. Finding those elements that motivate someone to give is so critically important to any appeal. And to get people to give their time, talents, and treasures. The three elements to creating a strong concept, finding a unique selling point, highlighting the advantages, identifying the benefits are some of the real keys to success for you to become fully funded. Incorporate these into your personal proposals and appeals your calls to donors, and your direct mail and email marketing. Be sure to let me know 
if they made a difference for you. Don't be disappointed or discouraged if you currently are not finding one particular item that rises above. Keep at it till you find that. I hope you found this video, these recommendations were helpful to you. If so, hit the like button and add a comment below letting me know if you're going to try these or if you did already. And if I missed any element or you tried something and it didn't work, please let me know that as well since as a community, we're in this together. We grow as a team from other successes and failures. And be sure to subscribe to this channel and share with your friends and colleagues. There's no cost to you, but the more subscribers we have, the more this message gets out to others, and the more we can all share in the wealth derived from our collective experiences. Simply hit the subscribe button below and click the all bell to be notified of the next release. If you need to find out what to do and say during a meeting with a donor, watch this video and raise more money than ever before and better our world. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.